Hi, I'm Dr. Wilcox. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the embryo transfer. A lot of patients are curious how, how do we get the embryos in the uterine cavity after the embryologists have helped us grow the embryos to viability. And we're here actually in one of our transfer rooms at HRC and uh, we have an ultrasound, we have a table, we have the ability to put the stirrups up and uh, position the patient so we can do the transfer. Now the technique for embryo transfer has progressed dramatically over the last 20 years. Uh, when we first started, we would do the transfer blind, which means we simply place the catheter in the cervix and then uh, hope that we would uh, get pretty close to the optimal location, uh, which is in the upper third of the uterine cavity. Uh, today it's a lot more precise. We don't do it blind, we do it under ultrasound guidance. So we have an ultrasonographer in the room when we do the transfer, we have a full bladder. Uh, the ultrasonographer will put the probe on the abdomen, full bladder, so we can actually see through the bladder and identify the endometrial tissue and see specifically the upper third of the uterine cavity. Now once the ultrasonographer has identified the location that we want to deliver the embryos, uh, then we will go ahead and use a very a uh, specific catheter. Here we have a Cook catheter that was designed for embryo transfer. These catheters are uh, incredibly uh, unique uh, in the sense that the inner catheter is very soft. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a noodle of spaghetti. This is the mock catheter, but it's essentially the same as the actual catheter. And then the inner chamber is a very tight tolerance to allow what we call laminar flow. So the laminar flow prevents eddies or turbulence that can trap the embryo and increase the risk of what we call retained embryo. So the uh, catheters are a little pricey, uh, but that consistently allows us to flush the catheter, release the embryo, and successfully place the embryo in the uterine cavity. Now we have a guide here. This guide allows us to shape the catheter. Uh, when we're doing the actual transfer, we actually don't want to touch the tip. We want to try to keep that sterile uh, so we can actually shape it. It'll retain a little memory. So we can gently thread the catheter through. Most people don't feel anything when we do that. Uh, and it's got markers on here, which tell me the depth of penetration. So I can actually use not only the ultrasound to see the tip of the catheter, since it's got a little bit of wire in the tip. This shows up very nicely on the ultrasound, it's a real bright signal, and uh, I can always locate my tip. But I also have these measurements so I can get the additional feedback if I'm having trouble finding my tip. We always pre-measure the uterine cavity. Typically it's between six to nine centimeters, and uh, so that's already done in advance. So we can use that as a third uh, measure of how deep we want to be. Now in most cases, we want to deliver the embryo roughly one centimeter from the top of the uterus, or the fundus, and we can actually see the fluid as it's released. It's a nice bright signal, so we can actually see it, make sure it stays in the right location as we gently move the catheter back out. The whole transfer only takes about two or three minutes. Uh, I like to set the catheter in advance, have everything ready, and then have the embryologist actually bring the loaded uh, catheter in so that my guide is already in place so I can just slide the inner catheter in and uh, do a very easy transfer. But this catheter right here has, uh, and the, those like it, have dramatically improved the pregnancy rates. We can do the transfer without causing any bleeding. We can do it without stimulating the cervix causing uterine contractions. And today we can do it with the ultrasound to confirm the location is optimized. So this has been one of the major advances in the last uh, 10 years to allow us to consistently place the embryo in the ideal location. So hopefully that helps and uh, thank you very much. We hope to see you soon.